Hi, I'm Paolo and in this video, I'll show you the fastest and most responsive website builder that you can use. And the best part is, you don't need to learn any technical or programming skills just to use it. Before we proceed, intro. This is the builder all back office. You can make websites, sales funnels, which includes mapping out the funnel and already has trackers on it. You can even do email marketing. You can also make an online course, chat bots. So it basically has everything you need for your business. It has approximately 40 tools. It has plenty of tools for lead generation, setting up your business. So again, everything you need for your online business, it's all here. Now, let's talk, uh, let's talk specifically about, it even has CRM by the way, autoresponders for Instagram, for webinar if you want to uh, if you want to put up a webinar for your business and yes even if you want to make a website with WordPress you can also do it here if you have a virtual assistant you can give them access so you're in control of what they can access and depending on the task that you give them they will be able to do it for you directory builder and many more for the other tools be sure to subscribe to my channel I'll be making videos on it or if I have done the videos already uh, please check the playlist and for this video we'll go we'll talk specifically about the fastest and most responsive website builder that you can use which is the builder all cheetah so let's go in. So let's create new website. Title. Demo. I'm gonna put demo here. Click on save. And let's edit the website. So this means that this is the website demo, that's what we named it, and this is the page, the home page or the first page. So if I want to edit it, I can add an image to that page. If I have any other pages here, or let's check the settings. So this is the URL, home, okay, go back to home, enter in editor, meaning I will be editing the specific page, but before that, what content do I put on my page or on my website? Just click on this arrow. Go to panel, click on panel, click on first fold or depending on what you have in mind, but just to check, let's go through everything. First fold, let's say I want a website for my consulting agency. So all I have to do is choose from these templates. So let's say for example I want to use this one 
Just click on it. And there. Everything can be edited easily. As I said earlier on the intro, there's no need for, uh, for you to learn any technical skills or programming skills. There's no need for that anymore. To edit this, I just double click like that. And I can type anything. Okay? It's as simple as that. So let's say the Paulo Santana Consulting Agency and want it in the middle that's it see how easy it is if I want to edit it just double click on it again see so simple so easy from here it even gives you options on the letters or the picture or on the image anything or everything rather for this one consulting the C button. Now you can move everything, you can edit everything. Alright. So this is for the header of my website. Now what if I what other content can I put on my website? Click on the arrow again, go to panel. So we're done with that. I'd like let's go ahead and check on the other panels so blocks call to action contacts contents let's say I want to put a pricing let's just choose this one so it says panels been created so it's here The best part about the panel is you can move it or in uh, change uh, change it change places with another panel. So, for example, this one, if you notice here on the upper left of the specific panel that we just put up, it says panel. There's an arrow to go up and down, and this one is to duplicate it. Okay, we can duplicate it. See, so for example, I click on it. See, there's another one. Let's erase it. Confirm the delete. That's fine. So let's say, for example, I want to transfer this panel, the pricing panel, to the header. Okay. Just to show you how it works, you just click on this, go up, and it's done. As simple as that. Okay. Let's put it back. Go down. All right. So let's try let's go ahead and put more panels to this. So let's say for example I change my mind. Because first what I want to put is for the panel um, the features of my business. So let's go to the uh, oh by the way let's put it this way let's say for example I want to put a video I want a header with a video on it let's say for example this one All right. so I'll go ahead and delete the first one go on top 
it um so the uh, so the panel that we chose automatically goes up becomes the first panel which is on top because like I said I wanted a funnel or a header with a video on it okay so yes of course we can move everything and edit everything again to edit just double click on it and that's it okay simple editing no programming or technical skills needed and it's good, it's good to go now I want and uh, let's go ahead and add another panel to this one so we have the header right now with a video showcasing probably of course your business now let's go ahead and add another one I want it with uh, features this time contents would be good but uh, let's go ahead with the uh, features mm -hmm. all you have to do is choose from the panels let's say for example this one let's go with this one let's check on it and there it is Okay. Just want to do a little editing on it, and it's good to go. So we have the header of our website, we have the features part of it. Let's see what more we can add. So we've added the features. let's say content this one but I want this content to be the second panel from top so all you have to do is click here click on the arrow going up close this and it's already in position so we have the header I have the content uh, panel and the features of my business. Okay. Now let's see what more we can add. Because of course I want my website to have all the necessary information that would make the lead, uh, of course, register or even subscribe or buy my product. I want it to be clear with my lead, with the leads visiting my website the services that we can provide them. So we have the contents which is this the header with a video giving them an idea of what the business is about. The contents what they will learn the features of the services or the services we provide them let's see what more we can add the team so the uh, leads would know who will be working with them go to panel go to team so I have to choose one let's go with this one what I want for the team information is the picture of my team members with a brief description of who they are and we have it see it's all done without programming and any technical skills you just do copy and paste and actually just choosing because from here what you can do is just edit the information and the photos 
So from here, let's say for example, this photo, I want to edit it. See, image, click on search. From there, it just opens the pictures that you can upload or you would want to upload. Opacity, you can even adjust that. How about the size? See? The height. How about the border? You want to change the borders and so on. So let's go back to the top of the website and let's check if this is good enough. So uh, the top, the top, or the header of the website, we have a, a video. We have a brief uh, information of what the website is all about. The content or or what they will learn. The specific features my business or our business offer can offer them our the team members all right and let's check what more we can add go back to panel so we have the team let's check the footer okay so first, of course, I want the pricing. Let's choose a pricing. So let's say, so let's go for this one. So now we have a pricing for uh, pricing information for our product, or for the product I'll be selling. Okay, and let's check more. Features, contents, contacts. Okay, so let's say for example, I want to add uh, a panel wherein they can contact us anytime or contact me for my business anytime. See this one. Yep. So there's a map. Here's the information where they can register if they want to send us a message. And here I can just edit the number, the contact number of my business, the address, the email, and so on. Okay. Even the uh, the image. Again, we can edit the image. Of course, we can change everything or transfer everything rather. according to how we want it so basically from here all you have to do is do, do some editing editing the uh, precisely the uh, content of your website now once you have edited everything to the information or the content that you you want for for the features for that for the header for the content, for the features, the pictures, everything. Once you have edited everything, this is how it's going to look like on the desktop when somebody views the website. Specifically, the same. Okay? Let's go through this slowly. So we have even the map. See, you can zoom it. 
I'm using my mouse for this one. So yes, you can put a map on it. All right, this is the hand. Zoom in, zoom out, whatever you, you prefer. So we have the contact information down here. I have the pricing, the team members information, the features or services my business offers, the content or what people will learn, and a video of my business. So let's go back to editor. Because I think I missed something, which would be, let's say, I want to add a footer. Or that's the one at the bottom of the website. But what do I put on the footer? Let's go to footer. Save this one. The footer actually contains, let's go down real quick, this one, the copyright for your website, and the menu. Let's preview, because we want to check how it will look like on the published website, or when the website goes live. Now, the question is, how responsive is this website builder in terms of viewing it on a mobile phone? Right now, we're viewing it on a, on a desktop form or on a computer. So again, this is how it will exactly look on the website or on the computer when, once it goes live. It live, rather. So again, so to check how responsive this website builder is, this is for the mobile view of the website. So let's go ahead and check how it will look like. There's really nothing to fix anymore. It's already fixed. The, be the best part is it is fixed accordingly as how you fixed it or how it's set up on the desktop view. Meaning, you don't have to make any or any changes anymore unless you prefer to do so. See, it's already fixed. So, how again, how responsive is this website builder? I believe this is the most responsive out there. But then again, you can still make changes to it if you prefer to do so. Back to editor. See? If, one, uh, if I want to change anything on the, mo on the mobile view or on the phone view, yeah, I can do it. See? There's an arrow. I can, I can move it anywhere I want. Down. Right. To go up, it's so simple. So that's how fast and responsive this website builder is. And come to think of it, for the content, it's already here. All you have to do is edit it. No technical skills needed. No programming needed. It's really fast and simple. Really, really quick. Now let's add another page to the website. But before that, let me show you the website settings. So yes, the websites that are made on Builderall 
are capable of SEO as you can see here this is where you add the keywords to your website the meta tags and the scripts Facebook uh, pixel script analytics script and don't worry about this because there's a tutorial for all of this so yes your website made on Builderall can be searched on Google and it can rank on Google as well now let's add another page and to do that just create a new page just click on this one so let's just name this second page page 2 page 2 and that's it so now we have the second page of our website and let's go ahead and do this real quick let's put in content to it to do that just click on the arrow or click on BG page click on add want to add a panel on top but I want to add or let's check real quick a header this time so that's for the menus and then Since this is the second page, I want to put this one. So let's check how we're going. Okay, so far so good. So this is the brief information for the business I want to showcase on this page. Now, Let's add another panel. Content. Let's say this one. Let's check on it. So far, so good. Now let's see what more we can add. So we have the header and the content. Probably more features for this page. Let's see this one. So check on the third panel. So let's say for example, I'm good with everything, with all the content for the second page. What I want to do now is check the preview on how the published or the live website will look like, which is this one. So we have the header or the first panel, content or the second panel, and the features or the third panel I also want to know how it will look like on the mobile view just click this on uh, the cell phone beside the computer and let's go from top everything's good so far but if I want to make adjustments to it I can easily do so so the menu is up there
for the menus can link everything even change the name see so everything's good so far so that's how fast and simple everything is just want to save it so I don't want to pl publish the website yet it's fine and that's it that's how fast and simple it is really again as I said it's really fast really easy you don't need to make adjustments once you're done with the desktop view and you want to check the mobile view of it you don't need to make any adjustments on it it's real time that's how good this website builder is that's how accurate it is if you want to try this or you want to learn more link on the description of this video I'll just leave the link on it if you learned anything from this video give it a like and if you think this would help other people please do share it and if you want to learn more just subscribe and click on the bell beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload a new video if you have any questions, just comment below or message me on my Facebook page and I'll either answer it for you or even make a video out of it so we can share the knowledge to everybody. Just like that, this video is over and I'll see you on the next one. Let's go!